Hello, Assalamu alaikum students of class 6, class 7 and the O levels. This time I am going to do question number 16 of exercise 5b. If you have the book available, you can open the book page number 121 and look at the question carefully. In case the book isn't available, then for your convenience I have written down the question here. What you can do is, you can stop the video here. If you like, you can note down this full question on your copy or register. On other hand, what you can do is you can simply stop it, stop the video here and take a screenshot of it. Or if you are watching this video on a laptop, you can stop the video here. You can take the questions picture on a mobile phone. And while I am explaining the solution of this question, you can place mobile phone in front of you so that you will have an eye on the question during the solution of the question. So let's start. Find a formula for the total cost of dollar $t. So that means cost will be shown by the letter T of C pens at dollar $d each. What does this mean till here? that we have to find a formula for the total cost. We have to find the formula of the total cost of C pens. C pens means this is the quantity of the pens. At dollar D each means this is the cost of each pen. So till here it means that if we find if we want to find the cost, so total cost is actually total cost equal to number of items number of items multiply cost of one item cost of one item or cost of each item so this is the formula to do or to do the part number a i mean the first part the first part is i have written first part here find a formula I shall read it again. Find a formula for the total cost of dollar T of C pens at dollar D each. Not only this, and E pencils at F cents each. The first price is given in dollars. The next price is given into cents. But you have to find the total cost in dollars. So you have to convert this cost which is given in cents into dollars first of all so how you can convert cents into dollars is you simply divide cents i mean the given cents by 100 so f cents are the given cents you will divide them by 100 so you will get f over 100 dollars so let's do it this was the actually uh, this was the actual formula Total cost is equal to number of items in total co uh, cost of one item. But here we have not only been de demanded the total cost of uh, C pens, but we have also been uh, be, we are also being demanded uh, demanded that total cost of E pencils as well. So dollar T will be equal to First, they say C pens at dollar D each. Number of items is C pens. And cost of each item is dollar D each. Multiply this multiplication sign I have placed here. Multiply cost of one item is dollar D each. Dollar D. Since they are demanding the total cost, that means the total cost includes the cost of the pencils as well. So that means not only the cost of the pens, but also the cost of pencils. So you shall place add sign number of items. I mean the number of pencils, E pencils, E number of items, E multiplication cost of one item at f cents each multiply f over 100 dollars so it's preferable to place the dollar sign 
before it f over 100 okay now much problem solved much of the problem solved i mean c multiplied d dollars means dollar first of all c d dollars add e multiply f place dollar first of all e f dollars over 100 dollar t is equal to c d dollars plus e f over 100 dollars if you like you can write this uh, solution till here but it is preferable to place dollar as common and write c d plus e f over 100 after it if you look on the back side of the book on in the answer portion you will find this answer c d plus e f over 100 simply this answer is given and there is no dollar sign used there even there is no dollar sign used with the doll t with the letter t now the first part has been finished now look at the second part if e is equal to 145 c and for uh, and f uh, sorry if e is equal to 145 c or 4 minus c and d is equal to f plus 5 over 50 where e is equal to 150 and d is equal to 3 find the value of t first of all write this e is equal to second part has been started e is equal to minus 145c over 4 minus c 4 minus c and they have also given e is equal to 140 uh, sorry 150 so in place of this e i shall write 150 and other things as it is by cross multiplication method 4 minus c will cross multiplicate excuse me will cross multiplicate with the 150 so let's cross multiplicate it 4 minus sorry 150 will be multiplied with the 4 minus c is equal to minus 145 c 150 multiplies with the 4 we shall get 600 and 150 multiplies with the c we shall get 150 c minus 145 c 600 if stays here and minus 145 stays as it is there and only minus 150 moves to other side and it is added its sign is changed here I, these both of things 145 and 150 contains c as a variab variable so that's why these will be added or subtracted bigger value is 150 its sign is positive positive sign will be used as an invisible sign 150 minus 145 will be 5 c c shall stay here and 600 will be divided by 5 5 will come here and it will be divided by uh, uh, 600 will be divided by 5 so c will be equal to this implies c will be equal to 5 120 times 600 5 1 times 5 5 2 times 10 5 0 times 0 so c is equal to 120 look at the later part of the question if uh, i have uh, found the value of c with the help of d now with uh, with uh, i have found the value of c with the help of e now i shall can find the value of f with the help of d's formula d is equal to since d is equal to f plus 5 over 50 and d is 3 d is equal to 3 so in place of d you can write 3 is equal to f plus 5 over 50 in place of d i have written 3 50 will cross multiplicate and it will be multiplied with the 3 you will get 150 is equal to f plus 5 50 multiplies with the 3 and you get you get 150 f will stay here 150 as it is there 5 will move to other side and it will be uh, other side of the equal sign and it will be subtracted so this implies 
f is equal to 150 minus 5 will be 145. Now I'm going to remove what I should remove. Let me This was the answer of the first part. I have not removed it because I need it. I need to place all the values here. Now, in place of C, I shall write 120. 120 multiplies by. In place of D, I can write 3. plus sign as it is in place of e in place you know before placing the values you should write the formula again at the top of it i am just wanting uh, to uh, to save the space that's why i am not writing this formula again at the top so in place of e you can write 150 multiplies by in place of F you can write 145 and in place of 100 you shall simply write 100 120 3 times will be 3 0 0 3 2 times 6 3 1 0 3 this zero cut with this zero. Five two times ten. Five three times fifteen. All right. Three one forty five times three five times. Okay, one better way is don't do this way. One better way is here. It was uh, which value was here? E value was one fifty and then it was 145 then here it was 100 so if we multiply 150 with the 145 use a calculator to multiply 150 with the 140 i can't use the calculator right now because if i shall go back in my camera my video will be stopped here 150 145 multiply 150 0 0 0 5 5 is a 25 5 4 is a 20 and 22 5 1 is a 5 6 7 2 multiplication sign 1 5 is a 5 1 4 is a 4 1 1 is a 1 0 5 7 11 2 so it's 2 1 7 5 0 Divided by 100, if we divide 217 by 100, I shall divide it in, divide in the next step now. 217.5. Simply place 1, simply place 0 0.2 digits before it because there are two zeros here. So when you will add it, you will get 0 0.5, 0 and 7, 7, 6 and 1, 7, 3 and 2, 5 577.5 is the final answer the answer of the first part is was that and answer of the second part was that one okay now after consuming 15 minutes almost 15 minutes of your life on the youtube right now with me you have gained some knowledge able thing okay thank you so much for being with me uh, and sorry for any kind of mistake and for sorry for any kind of uh, my pronunciation or English mistake etc but I wish that more and more students could understand me though so that's why I have chosen the medium of instruction as English today okay if okay then Allah Hafiz if you are first time subscriber don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay Allah Hafiz